I'm SAC Carl Barber. I'm a communication information system specialist. I'm trained to deploy a moment's notice anywhere in the world. Be it arctic conditions, desert or jungle. Start from scratch and create full network capability, telecommunications capability in support of air operations in that area. We provide the power for the uh, communications when TCW deploy out of areas on ex exercises in the UK and all over the world. Our generators are a vital part of the process. Without them, there's no communications. If they've got no power, they can't deploy. So our job is pretty important. We look to recruit young people between 16 and 29 who come in as communication information system specialists. We recruit school leavers, we recruit graduates, and we recruit people that have been um, in the workplace for a while. We teach people how to become good leaders as well as how to become good team workers. I think the, the important thing though is if an individual feels they don't have those skills then they will be able to, uh, to learn those skills within the Royal Air Force. Throughout my Air Force career so far I've received basic technical training, several months of network administration training. I've had lots of on-the-job training. I received an advanced apprenticeship in communication technologies. This consisted of a BTEC National Award Level 3, MVQ Level 3 and Key Skills. And there's been lots of opportunities for leadership and also teamwork training as well. With Service Life there's always a chance to get involved with team sports. Uh, rugby, football, tennis, there's always something sporting going on around. Uh, adventurous training, overseas and abroad, there's always the opportunity to get involved on something like that. You need to be 100% motivated and committed to the cause, uh, especially during training. There can be some very tough physical and mental periods, but the rewards at the end make it all worthwhile.